Pittsburgh here to uh, display his talents here on the Snapple Game of the Week. How about it, Glenn? What do you think, man? A little courtside here at Hofstra? Very good. Very great experience for me. Well, you're not on the call tonight, but on most home game nights, you are uh, with your partner right there, Dominic Verusa. This is Holy Cross High School, and they do a closed circuit television broadcast of the games. So the folks who are sitting in the cafeteria who couldn't get a seat at the game can watch. There you are with Sylvan Landisburg, and hey man, it's all about the games, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Gets people interested in the program, when if there's no more room in the gym, they can come to the cafeteria and watch. Yeah, under the direction of Mr. Ed Burns, and of course, your producer is James Benish. He's here tonight. You guys really, uh, just like we do, we get into the games on every level at MSG, but so do you guys at HCTV. Oh yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's once-in-a-lifetime experience for us to be doing this, you know, and, I mean, we're going to remember this for the rest of our lives. So here we go. What's the problem here? I mean, Holy Cross, you see the bench, they're down a little bit. You've uh, seen this team play your game in and game out. Uh, what's been your thoughts so far on uh, why they're trailing in this game? Well, um, Sil Sylvan's going to have to get hot for this team, and uh, they're really missing Tim Biner on the inside to play defense, but um, in the third quarter, I think, I think they definitely have a shot to get back into it. All right, well, the plan is... We're about to throw Lou Brogno off the telecast. Is that true? That is true. All right, so we're going to let Lou Brogno step aside. Well, Lynn, are you ready for your play-by-play -play debut from HCTV and now moving on to MSG TV? You ready, my friend? Absolutely. All right, folks, this is Glenn Belikas from Holy Cross High School. He is the play-by-play -play man on HCTV. Take it away, Glenn. Well, Holy Cross just forced a turnover, and uh, Blaze Friends will bring it up for the Knights. Javon Roberts in the corner now. Yeah, down 15 in this game. They gotta find a way to score. Absolutely. Sylvan on the offensive rebound, battle for it. Taken away by Reginald Davis for Lincoln. Yeah, we see Sylvan a little bothered by the flu. Are you noticing he's missing that extra gear tonight? Uh in the beginning, yeah, but it looked like he towards as he was in the game more, he was getting his legs on under him and he was really uh, picking up his pace. As Blaze Friends takes it hard to the hole, charge called on Blaze. That's the guy they need to get going yes. right now, right? Blaze French. I mean, Blaze does such a good job in complimenting Silver. They need him. Absolutely. He's uh, quick as lightning, as you can see here. Just could not finish, but the foul is going on Blaze. So their frustrations uh, continue. Now, Holy Cross rarely plays a zone, but they are now to try and slow down this Lincoln team. And it's worked on the last couple possessions. Let's see if it works here. Yeah, Lincoln now in no hurry. You know, with a 15-point lead, built on the shot clock a little bit. Flowers with the three. Missed defensive rebound by Landisburg. And Landisburg quickly brings it up the court. Landisburg. Oh, what a dunk by Sylvan Landisburg. What a throw down by Sylvan. Oh, oh, Mr. Landisburg is in the house. Dang, that could get this team back in the game. You see, he knew that HCTV's Glenn Belikas was on the call, baby. <laughs> Holy Cross trying to get a turnover. Defensive foul called against Ernest Freeman. Boy, Sylvan kind of lulled us into thinking maybe not his night, but that was spectacular end to end, and these are the things you'd come to expect. Absolutely. Wow. That brought the crowd up and at it here at Hofstra. Nevertheless, still a 13-point deficit. Reginald Davis to the line for Lincoln, and he hits the first. How is it to deal with Coach Gilvary? Obviously, you got to prepare for the telecast, and you got to coach a uh, great figure in Coach Gilvary. How is it for you guys? Coach, coach Gilvary helps us with everything, anything we need. He's always there, too. I mean, he, he really loves the uh, television studio, and he'll do anything for us. Yeah, he gave us a tour on Friday of the studio. Yeah, it's, it's, it's amazing for a um, high school television studio. And you guys are on the air every single day. Yep, every day, school announcements go out to everybody in the school. As Blaze French puts that uh, up against the Knights. Yeah, Blaze, they need him to get going now. This 180 pound senior, great handle, great shooter. Division one schools, Quinnipiac, New Hampshire, Akron, all have interest in Mr. French. Offensive rebound again, and a charge called against Paget of Lincoln. Sylvan Landisburg took it. So it's important to tell the folks, you guys are on the air every single day live, and in every class from Holy Cross, they watch it uh, in your homeroom period. Yep. Gets the, um, tells us what's going on throughout the day and uh, what activities will be happening after the day and uh, keeps us, lets everybody know how the sports teams are doing. 
mean, you guys actually do highlights of Holy Cross basketball that kids yep. can sit in their homeroom class and see. Yep, every day. You think Sylvan Stone's going to make it? I think so. <laughs> so the, the term is sound full. They want to hear your call. Yeah, and Kayvon Rodgers reverse miss. Kayvon gets his own rebound up, and he gets fouled. We'll go to the line for two shots. Kayvon Roberts has been a good story for you guys. Uh, you know, a real program kid who's on the JV as a sophomore, but just kind of gotten better and better. Absolutely. I mean, he's become more physical, too, with his de definitely helping. He's got a great three-point shot to complement his inside game. Stony Brook has taken a length of Mr. Robertson. The number's 14 and 5 with three assists. But nothing like in your senior year to have sort of a special team to see Sylvan getting a little breather. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best teams that uh, Holy Cross has ever put together, and uh, they can really do something special this year for March. Well, final minute here, they trail by 11. And they'd love to get the final bucket of the half. Holy Cross was staying at 2-3, and Lincoln is still in no hurry to get any shots up. Good defense by Justin Gerlich. Justin Gerlich with the block. Here's Blaze Franks in transition. They have numbers. Blaze to the inside. Gets it to Roberts. Roberts up. And he gets fouled again. That's yeah, a good job by Holy Cross getting out and running. Trying to be aggressive and asserting. Turning their defense into their offense. And they are uh, causing a lot of fouls that way, which can definitely get Lincoln into trouble. So Roberts to the free throw line. Kayvon. Good size, a six foot four, 200 pounds. But you guys have enjoyed the up tempo style uh, that we've seen going defense into offense. Yep, the transition game has been one of the most important things for this team, and that's what they got to do to be successful is run the fast break. So under nine, under 10 points now. Single digits for Holy Cross. As Joe Monahan checks in for Kayvon Roberts. Yeah, Joe, I like the energy, right? What do you think, right? <laughs> you know, he's, uh, gets a lot of talk from the team about that hairdo. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Trying to get him to cut it, but he won't. So, uh, sort of got that uh, North Shore surfing cut, right? Yeah. As you can see, Holy Cross on an 8-1 run in the closing minutes of the first half. Lincoln will hold for the last shot against this 2-3. That's a good job by Coach. Players in the game tonight, some seniors. That's a long three missed. Six seconds left to this Tyson Russell. Tyson Russell to the group. Up, and in. Oh, that's a big bucket and a strong one. A little momentum into the locker room. You look up at the scoreboard now, Glenn, and they've cut it to seven, which is as low as it's been since the opening moments of this game. Holy Cross got a little life. Got a little life going into the half, and hopefully they could keep it going as Tayshawn Russell puts it up and in. That's a great job by Tayshawn Russell right there. The senior from the varsity B team a year ago now to the varsity team. We see Sylvan Landisburg laboring tonight. Uh, a little sick, uh, but just, just trying to get it to go. And one more thing about ACTV. Your partner is Dominic Veruza. I think he's ready with Coach. Yep, send he's him. standing by with Coach Gavari. Dominic, take it away. Thanks, Glenn. I'm here with Coach Gavari. Coach, you got off to a slow start. Get down by seven.